Hey, good morning. This is Mr. Duncan, the Bond Public Library. I am going to show you something today that involves magnets. And let me just pull it down here so I can see all the stuff on here. I've got all sorts of different kinds of magnets to play around with. If you don't have your own magnets and you're having trouble finding something like that, come to the library. And um, I've got a big bag full of different kinds of magnets here, and I can give you a few. Where can you get magnets? Well, you can get magnets um, in a hardware store or a place like Walmart, and they're often hidden in things. So we talk about magnetic hangers for your refrigerator, magnetic hangers and clips. Um, you can also find magnetic material in little signs and freebies like this. Um, I had these stuck to my cabinet with a calendar on it, but they are magnetic. They will do some of it, but they're not quite as strong as the other magnets. It's strong enough. So what can I do here? A couple things I'm going to play around with. Uh, if you can get a stick, just a thin stick like this, and you can be a skewer, meat skewer if you want, or a dowel, uh, play around with magnetic levitation. And what I mean is this. If you take a magnet and you put it down like this, you see they stick together. Okay. But if you flip the magnet around, the magnetic field will repel. Like that. I put it down like this, and if you look, now that magnet is repelling this magnet. I can take another magnet like this, it sticks. If I take that magnet, turn it around, and drop it, now we have magnetic field repelling like that. A bit of playtime magnets. Now, if you look, there's some CDs here. I want to make a magnetically levitating vehicle. Oops, I got all sorts of stuff here. Something to think about here is if you take your magnets and you put them together so you have a fairly strong magnetic field, and we want them to all be in the same direction pretty much. If you're not sure what's going on, I'm going to fiddle around with this for a minute. What you can do is pick up the CD and see if they stick. Well, I don't want them to stick, I want them to flip it over so it actually repels each other. If I take a little tape, take that magnet down, like this. So it's not going anywhere. It's something to play around with. And I take the oven magnet and I put it down like this. And I put them like this. I hold it. If you do it just right, it will hover above the table. I use a really strong magnet, like this one. Let's see. I can actually get this to hover. Now, here's where you can get creative. See how that, that, that? I am not holding that up at all. I'm just laying the rest of my hand. I'm just holding it to keep from spinning away. If I let go, it will flip away, but you can see if you can invent something that will hold it in place and maybe make a magnetic track. All right. They actually sell these toys. One more thing here. Get your thinking. So we take the magnets and we stack them here. Oopsie. I use one magnet to stick over here. If you look, I took a piece of cardboard and I folded it in half like this. And I use some duct tape just to make it stiff. <clears throat> you can make a take a look there. Paper clip is being attracted to the magnet and it's held in space. Another thing we can play with. If you want, 
you can make a paperclip chain and do it this way. I chain a bunch of paperclips together, that, and attach it this way here. I can make them levitate. You can call it a magnetic field. This is a real simple, very, very simple setup here. What I invite you to do is get the magnets and play. What can I do? If you haven't done this before, you put your magnets under the table. You can experiment with the magnetic field going on the table. If I flip the magnet over, see I'm repelling it right now. Here's the gag. I'm using a magnet like that. It attracts it and that repels it. <clears throat> hey, just check it out, try it out. Let's see what you can do. And Remember, if you want some magnets, come to the library.